Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I used to like Alec Baldwin, the actor. I used to like him until he got uh, really political. I used to have no problem, for instance, with uh, De Niro either. I don't think he's a good actor. I don't like He's got the same uh, face like that, and he's like taking a dump. Uh, using it all the time and that's his uh, signature face or something like he you squeeze the lemon in his mouth but I liked until he got I like I didn't mind him much I but Alec Baldwin I liked him he got he's got personality outside the movie screen uh, you know I, I like him I like him being um, you know a little bit violent here and there a little bit outspoken you know, a little bit uh, you know, I don't know, men, manly. I liked him. And um, I liked, for instance, his movie, the best movie that I, I mean, the one I prefer was The Edge with Anthony Hopkins, right? Um, so that's the, the one that uh, I like the most. And uh, you know, probably uh, Alec Baldwin got in trouble when he shot someone uh, on the movie set. And I would like to... Uh, unfortunately tell you about how he i think he's just uh, deluded he's deluded in his thing and uh he said i didn't pull the trigger this is what he said well if you ever had a gun in your hand a, a gun in your hand and you you have to do something with it you have to touch something, not only the handle. If you hold the handle like this and you go like this, a gun would not go off unless it's defective or something. You have to touch something. You have to do something. And besides, it's in your hand. And then the thing is, there were one shot and another one wounded or something like that. How many shots were there? One? Two? So let me read you what FBI uh, says about this. This was an article I sat on it for a little bit. Uh, it was from August 13, 2022. An FBI forensic report concludes Alec Baldwin pulled trigger on Rust set. So, I don't know. And it says a new discovery. New discovery for TARDS. Uh, for normal people, it was no discovery. Uh, has been made in a fatal Rust shooting involving Alec Baldwin. According to ABC News, which obtained a copy of the FBI, FBI forensic report, the gun used on the New Mexico movie set could not have been fired without the trigger being pulled. And then, boom, right? So you have to. The FBI conducted an accidental discharge test and the trigger used in a fatal shooting of the cinematographer Halina, Halina Hutchins could, and I'm quoting, could not be made to fire without a pull of the trigger, the report stated according to the outlet. The test showed that, the, the, that when 45 Colt caliber F. Ili Pieta single action revolver's hammer, oh, what is that? hammer was in the quarter and a half cock positions the gun would not fire without the trigger being pulled because he claimed hey, it was like this but it was not like, like that he tried to kind of little things it just happened to alec yeah okay and it says here that uh, uh when the hammer was in fully cocked position the gun could not be made to fire without a pull of the trigger while the working internal comp components were intact and functional according to the outlet in, this, in December, Baldwin, uh, who was in the possession of a firearm on set, and I don't know why it was uh, on set, the firearm, and anyway, told ABC News that he did not fire the weapon. And I quote, the trigger wasn't pulled, Baldwin said. I didn't pull the trigger, he said. Well, that's the report. But the reason why I, uh, I'm going back to Baldwin and I decided to make this video is what he what he dared to say today and I'm like I was like what I gotta make a video on this this guy is really out of up so let's see what he said today <sighs> let's find the article here here is what he said 
This comes from cele Celebrity, uh, Yahoo Movies. Uh, and this is the title, three hours ago. Oh, it was, I don't know. Alec Baldwin says he lost five roles after Rust shooting. So this is what bothered him. Man, I, g I lost five roles you know, to play in movies after I, uh, you know, that person was shot on a set by <clears throat> the gun I was holding and <clears throat> the trigger I did not pull. And then he says like this, Yahoo Entertainment, Friday, August 19, 2022. There was one title. And then when you get in the article, it's this title. Alec Baldwin hires private investigator after Rust shooting. Doesn't think he'll be criminally charged. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me. He says here, Baldwin went on to reveal that he has lost five jobs in less than a year because of the accident. So damn how much money I lost. Oh my God. And I, uh, I am quoting here. I got fired from another job yesterday, he said. And I'm going again. There I was all set to go to a movie jump on a plane. I've been talking with these guys for months and they told me yesterday we don't want to do the film with you because of this. Aww. Who's gonna cry? Not me. There you have him. So when I read that, I, I saw the title among other articles and I was scrolling down and I was like, what the? So this is what bothers him. So I, I, I don't even know uh, what, what to say. It's like a, I don't know, a, a, per, a person who, uh, you know, uh, uh, is charged with indecent exposure, right? Outside. Uh, he cries that uh, he is uh, forbid to go to uh, a, a, a beach to swim or something. My God, I can't go to a beach. You're just charged with um, public. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. So this is this man. And he says it. Maybe that's why I like him because he's just like gone. How can you say that? I lost five, five, five jobs because of that. Well, Mofo, you will be charged, convicted and thrown in prison. Maybe, which I don't think so with all these uh, justice system that works here like that with the FBI I'm surprised the FBI came with that report I gotta tell you that for all the Saturday Saturday night shows that he made as Trump and uh, for the liberals masturbation oh my god uh, he should be just put on a pedestal you know they make a uh, golden statue statue put it uh, wherever in Hollywood and in Jerusalem and in uh, uh, how do you call that uh, New York New York City great I was about to say something about New York City. <laughs> Almost right there. So, Alec Baldwin, he lost. Are you going to cry, guys? Why don't you send him some money? I think he needs some money, some extra money. How many millions uh, is he worth? Not that he can't make more, but is that the problem? Oh, that's his job. He likes doing that. Man, you just... Anyway, sorry, Alec. You're going to lose more than five jobs in the future. Uh, all right. Uh, what do I think happened? I think he was just angry on the set. That's what I think. But that's what I think. I'm just a gut feeling. I think he was just angry on the set. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know if you if you listen to that. Uh, it was an audio circulating uh, on YouTube a long time ago with him uh, talking with one of his children. I don't know if he got more than one. I think one he got with. Uh, was it with uh, Kim Bessinger, I think, or whatever. He calls her all kind of names and all. He leaves a message to her or something, and something like that on a answering machine. Can you imagine an answering machine at that time? I don't know. It was unbelievable. I know I heard it, but I don't think it was on YouTube. I heard it in uh, different ways. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just Alec Baldwin. <laughs>